All right, a good mugging. Start of another day, another adventure. Uh, today's kind of cool. It's going to be um, kind of a full circle. I started plumbing about 12 years ago and uh, going back to clients of my former employer. Um, they have rebar, metal rebar, apparently going through one of their pipes that's causing clogs all the time. They never wanted to deal with it because they didn't want to open up their walls to repair it. But then they found out about trenchless, no dig technology that we can cut it with our robotic equipment and, uh, and fix it from the inside surgically. So they contacted us. We're going then there now to, uh, clear a blockage and get a good video of the line and see what it's going to take to fix it. So let's get going. Alright, so what we're told is this, is that you have a pipe in here, a vertical pipe. It's taking the bathroom from there and this washing machine. So we're going to open up this access panel if you start opening up. Okay, two screws there. Look at that spider. Straight shot down, send our camera in. Look at this guy from InCam. <laughs> Keep it on my keychain because uh, I lost my uh, pocket knife. So, this is what it is. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go through here and see what's going on. All right, so we're gonna get our uh, camera out. And our small flex shaft, this should be enough. Gotta do some uh, organizing here, but go with the 360. I think we're just gonna go for the eight millimeter flex shaft with the, uh, I don't know where it is, with the drill and get her done. All right, so we got a drill, oh, we got our knee pad. Gotta take care of our knees. Memory card. I hate when I forget, then I have to go back downstairs. Hop that inside. And then uh, we got our new Bolden. Some new Bolden eight millimeter, four inch uh, chains. Gotta find my hex wrenches and I'll get my eight millimeter cable right there somewhere. Turn off this light that keeps turning on. Get this guy set up over here. Put the guy on. Put this guy on. Get ready. making our way down as you can see already hitting the bend right here transition um, to the hard south I guess um, looks like we got a soft clog over here so we'll go into the flux shaft and then see what's causing this uh, backup over here so let's get our machine inside and get going okay bad boy inside so I'm gonna run some water inside here I'm running some water while I'm doing it so we can see if we uh, cleared the clog all right good we're right there at the uh, right there make sure we're in forward at the right clutch And, uh, see what happens right there make sure we're forward the right clutch I don't know that's a that's a rock or concrete there no Some 
development here. The uh, rebar is actually at the uh, the bend on the bottom. So I still got some uh, toilet paper there. I gotta finish getting that off so I can get a clear view uh, to see uh, what's going on and how we're going to uh, be able to fix that. We gotta get get out the rebar and then put in the uh, the point repair. So let's clear that off a little bit more. You can see what we're at right there. Still got some toilet paper over here. Here's the rebar sticking out over there. I want to see exactly, you know, how that's positioned and if there's any more other than that piece right there. And we now flushed out some of the stuff here. Right, we still got some stuff here, so we're gonna. There we go. Nice. All right, now I can flush the toilet and see what's going on. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start from the top now. You can see we have the four inch drop over here. We've got the two inch drop right over there. And it goes down. Alright. Here we transition into from HDPE into polypropylene. And then back into HDPE. Okay, so right here, before the uh, drop, we got a, uh, we got a hole. That's probably why they have some leaking in the wall. Okay. Now we're going down. Just got some water on the, the lens. Here we go. Okay, that's just the uh, the weld, but that that's coming off. That's fine. Okay, here's our here's our rebar right there. Okay, steep sticking inside. You actually have another hole right before the rebar. So we're coming down at this transition. And then right after this transition, we got another transition. So this is gonna be a difficult repair to do. This is gonna be a difficult repair. We're gonna have to first uh, cut this off. Looks like a 45 over here. And then it drops into another 45 and then another, look at this. A lot of, a lot of different. Uh, okay, so there's the, that's the horizontal over here. All right, so I just measured that from this 45, okay, over here, um, to the next 45 is like 20 centimeters. I got 50 centimeters to till my packer hits hits that 90. So I just got to double check that my Equipment will make a smooth transition, get in there nicely, and uh, cover up that rebar right there. And that's right at the transition right there between the 45 and the straight piece of pipe. And maybe with the same uh, with the same patch, I could probably get that that hole right there that you're seeing at three o'clock. I might be able to get that hole as well. All right, so that's interesting. We were told that the uh, rebar is at the uh, straight section of the pipe before it uh, before it uh, bends before it turns to the horizontal. I think the reason that they said that is because um, it actually is above that 90. It is above the 90, but because we have 245s to transition uh, to kind of move the pipe over, uh, I think that's why they thought that. So it's going to be a bit difficult to get the rebar out at the 45 and to get a patch in there. But uh, we're going to go look it over. Take a look at our equipment, make sure we can get it done, and um, give them an estimate for that. In the meantime, on to our next clog about an hour away. Hopefully, who knows with all these uh, checkpoints because of the because uh, the closure we got here, uh, because of COVID, it might take more time than that, is what it is. All right. All right, good news is that uh, Waze is taking us to back roads. Um, so it's gonna take about half an hour, not an hour, but look at this. They're looking for aliens over here. What the heck is that? That's cool. 
Okay, so we're here. I call this the haunted house because um, I have never seen a house with this many root intrusions. Like literally every single connection. We have roots inside. So I know already I'll need my camera to help me out. Get a flex shaft. They got... <laughs> Today they got two places for us to clean out. One we've actually never cleaned out before. The second one we cleaned out about a year plus, maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, it's just out of control. Um, fixing this entire house. Uh, the price would be ast astronomical, so we haven't done it yet. So right now we got routine uh, drain cleaning every, I don't know, six months. Depends on the line. Let's get her done. All right, so this toilet is stopped up out there. There's a manhole. We've already opened up back here. We're gonna first send in our camera, see what's going on. All right, let's see what these roots should be at a bend over here. Let's see if we can get in here. So far, we're clean. Going down, yeah, right there. Start to see roots. Right there. Oh, look at that massive root penetration right there. All right, so let's get going. Check that out. Nice amount of roots on there. Get those off. Throw this back in. See how we're doing inside. Okay, not bad. All right, so I'm gonna flush the toilet. Now we can see how much is left. went down good okay so we still got roots right over there and right before it goes off into the Y so we're gonna stick our snake in there sorry our flex chef okay get that centered in the sweet spot right there let's see if that's good Far, so pull that back a little bit. Just want to do it slowly. Pull that back a little bit more. Got to be careful because it's polypropylene. On the left side looks like we still got some roots there. See how we're gonna get those guys out. Flush them more time. We still got some danglers over there. Oh yeah, this pipe is getting crushed in over there. On top right there, they're going inside. That's pretty bad. We've broken that, broken that pipe. That's no good. Okay, I've done now is I've made these wider so we can get this, this pipe cleared out. Uh, usually I have spacers over here, but I don't have them on me, and it's uh, some light cleaning over here. That's why I'm also using the hand drill as opposed to the big, big machine. This is just some light roots over here, so it should work out just fine. Let's see if that does a better job. Pull that back just a little bit. Right there. Get in right there. Oh man, we're submerged underwater. It flushed check out to see if I had everything off or totally underwater. Almost had to come out of there. Just gonna open up the manhole, see what's going on, but that's not good. Got my flex shaft stuck. That's the toilet there. Comes to over here. So we're gonna move this stuff away. Oh 
Oh my gosh. Wow. That is completely clogged up with roots. Alright. No wonder we're stuck. So I'm gonna have to go in there and get those guys out. Alright, so. Look at these. Look at these roots. Pull these out first. Look at this. Crazy. Ugh. We pulled out so far we're still stuck in there so still gotta get my snake out my flex champ what do you call it uh first rule of drain cleaning never say it's an easy clog <laughs> that guy's stuck in there real thick roots all the way to the manhole bring out the k60 to uh, eat those guys up, then we'll finish it when we get that guy free. That's what it is, baby, that's what it is. All right, so I was able to pull out the uh, flex shaft of the K60 uh, and clean up the roots. And then this thing was clogged from here until the end. Now I'm gonna stick this camera in and uh, do a, there we go, and get a visual of what's going on here. Let's just, uh, there we go. Basically, never say it's going to be an easy job. There's roots coming in over here. Got to respect, you got to respect the roots. Got to respect them. All right. So, there's a, there's a Y over here. We have a root intrusion right there at the connection, as you can see right at the top of 12 o'clock. Probably have roots on that side as well. The roots over there. They have roots coming around that part. Like literally every, they, they must not have put gas. You see that right there? There's no way they put gaskets on any of these, any of these connections. Uh, oh wow, right there on the bottom, the entire bottom is lifted up. And there are roots right there. You can see right there, it's actually. It's actually uh, pushed upwards right there. So they're they're doing their damage. Then we have this long shot over here. More intrusions over there. Let me get past here. Okay, so I guess the manhole is starting to fill up a little bit because farther up I know we do have some roots there, but we're in the manhole already, so that's already the manhole over there. So I know that the line itself is totally clear. All right, so now that we've cleaned out the bottom bottom floor, um, we're gonna stick this guy in the toilet, see what's going on. I don't know if it's that air vent or one about a meter in. I think it comes here. This, the clog might just be here. It might be upstairs. I'm not really sure. So we'll take a look before we put the uh, equipment in. Okay, so apparently this was floating here. And it was floating somewhere there. So let's go take a look. Power this guy up. All right, so this guy's powered up. Get some light on. Stick it in over here. 
Let's see what's going on. Okay, we've already gone down. Like we're the clog is obviously farther down. Um, let's see if it's closer to the manhole. I think I'm in the horizontal now. Just pushing it through here. Still looks pretty clean over here. Okay, now it dropped down again. Another T over here. Okay. So I think I can get a direct shot from the roof. Okay, here we go. I think I'm seeing some roots here. And I think I'm by the... Yeah, I'm seeing a little bit of roots over there. But now, it, now it's a little bit... This is a small... This is a small cable. So it makes it through the trap very well, but it doesn't... Uh, not pushing now, so I'm gonna go on the roof, I think, and uh, and see what we can do. Cause I'm not seeing anything more. Yeah, you can see a root right there. Well, it doesn't look clogged up right now. All right, so I'm gonna go out here on the roof. Oh man, it's sunny. I'm gonna go right over there. Safe roof, don't worry. We're safe. <laughs> okay. So that's not it. I think it's this guy over here. Right. And then from here, there's actually a manhole down there. So I'm gonna take this off and uh, see what's going on. hard to see in the sun but let's see what we can do here there's this guy inside you can see it's not really meant for a four inch line but this is just for us to see what's going on all right Nice view. All right, let's see if we're there. Okay, I don't know if you can see it from here. It's so bright, but yeah, we get forgot a chunk in there. Uh, we're at a Y, it looks like. Oh, these darn roots again. Yeah, I can't even get there, so we're definitely, that's definitely where it's gonna be. Um, I think I'm going to go inside there, as opposed to trying to go from here. I think it just makes more sense. Alright, so it is over there. Already busted open some of it. Ah. It's a bit difficult because I need to get... We put a Y like right here, so. Wow, look at that root. Look at that root we're pulling out. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna come out to take a look at it. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Okay. We're gonna get a good look at this guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, cheapers. Sorry, flower. Oh, look at that guy. It's a good catch right there. Oh, baby. Oh, you know what that's going on? Woo, to fire up the grill. We are going to fire up the grill. This looks tasty. That's a big one. That's a big one. You only get this either in deep sea fishing or in sewers. Oh, man. You got some special seasoning at home too. Mmm. Getting hungry. Getting hungry. Look at this. Look at this guy. Feed my whole family with this bad boy. 
It's like two meals right there. It's like two meals right there, Thurgood. All right. I think that's it. I think we're done. All right, I think we're done for this job. I mean, this job is never done because uh, the amount of roots here. Uh, I'm really trying to try to figure out a solution for this lady, but it um, ain't gonna be easy. It's the entire house, it just, every single pipe, I promise all the pipes underneath, reinforced concrete, you know, meter and a half, two meters down, inside the walls, let's see what happens. All right guys, so uh, mission accomplished. Another job by the clog annihilators. Um, we got a call for one more clog today. So uh, we'll get that done. I'm not sure if we're gonna catch that on video, but uh, we'll get that done and work on our estimate for that patch and rebar removal from that first job for today. Peace out. All right, uh, it's too good not to share, so I'm gonna have to show you this clog. <laughs> gotta show you some nasty toilet clogs, no? Come on, let's take a look. All right, you guys ready? Check this out. Ooh, that's delicious. Bottle that up and get a drink. All right, so this is the plan. We're gonna open up this access and stick the camera on to in to see if the clog is this way or that way before we start trying to take care of it. So it could be as clean as possible. No, 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 no. All right, so we got that bad boy out. So we're gonna fire up the camera. Let's see if there's anything stuck in the back here. And indeed, there it is. You guys ready to see this? Check it out. There you go. See that blue right there? That's the blue right there. That is a, um, a scenting thingamajopper. The one that you put, the one that hooks up right on here. So they flushed it down there, so we gotta somehow get that out. That's nasty. All right. We're gonna see if we're gonna come either from here or from here to yank that out. Maybe we'll clean this out first and then just pull it out. All right, that's gonna make some nasty smell, so. Always need an excuse to put on this nice pink mask, so let's do it. All right, now you can't even hear me. All right, turn it tight. In there. All right, there we go. That's the money shot right there. All right, now we're back where it belongs. We'll close the seat and we're done.